Welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in again. On this question we are looking at question number six. We are still on the question paper for computer practice and five of 2022 November. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click subscribe. Those who subscribe, thank you. Make sure that you click the like button and click the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode. So today now we are looking at question number six whereby we are doing the data source for mail match. Normally in the question like displayed now here, you will see that when you are given the information for a data source, it is only the information but you still have to create the data source table. So what you are looking at now, it is not the data source but you are given the information with column headings for you to create the data source. So normally you will find where there are a list of fields which are your column headings for your data source and you will be actually given an indication as to how many letters you should expect when you continue. So according to that question, now we are going to create a table. So you go to insert and you create a table that will be your data source. So when I go and click insert now on my Microsoft Word, I have to create a table considering how many, putting into consideration as to how many columns do I have? How many fields do I have? So now when we look at the question paper again, now you will see that we have title, initials and surname, venue, town, province, and time. So according to this, we are going to have title as our first column heading, initials as our second venue, then we have town, and then we have province as our fifth, and then we have time as our sixth. So all in all, we are going to have six columns as we create a data source, not three or four. Now, when we go here, we are going to say insert, and then we are going to create six columns. So I'm, I prefer that you go to insert table, and then when you are there, you are going to specify how many columns. So we have seen that is six columns, and then how many rows? This rows is number of letters that we are expecting. So we are expecting three letters as we have seen in our data source. So when you click OK, you will see that now, when you look at our question and compare with the table that is here on Microsoft Word, it looks different because we are now creating a data source consider considering the match fields, meaning that the match fields will be our headings because that is how the letter will read them. But if you are going to create the same thing that you see in the question paper, then it's going to be wrong because when we create the letter and we use insert match fields, we won't be seeing them because we created the way we saw, we created it the way we saw it in the question paper. But now we are actually doing it correctly whereby you make sure that the fields are going to be appearing on top of your table. So now the first one that we saw obviously is title. Now and then title will be followed by initials, initials and say name. And then we are going to have venue. And then we are going to have town. And then we are going to have province. And then we will be finishing by time. So now it, it means now because we need three letters. Now I will have to insert a new row below this one because we are going to have three letters. The first one, the first row was containing our column headings. So I will just right click and go to insert. Then I will say insert row below. So this is where now we are going to have all the three letters. So we have three letters for all the people. I'm just going to quickly type them and then we'll continue after I've inserted all the information.
Now coming to our second one, as you see that when you put the first person, you have to look at the letter one and put the information of the person of letter one. Now we're going for the person of letter two and then we'll go to the person of letter three, just like this. Right, so when you are done typing the letter, you will see that actually you're so in the beginning of the question, they said use the mail match function to create data file using the information in the table below. So after we've created all this information, we have to save this data source and close it. You can't open it again. You're going to access it through the tools when you do the letter. So that's why question two now say, save the document as question 6a and make a printout in landscape orientation place the printout in examination folder so we will not open it again so meaning that we will close it save it close it and then we will only access it through the letter so this is how i'm going to save it now save as so after saving it i will have to make sure that i put give it a question a name that i will not forget so it's going to be according to the instruction we are going to save it as question 6a so that when we do the data source will be able to find it so when i say question 6a save then i close it that is how you do it thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe so that you can be able to see episode 3.